This is not just any electric bike. This bike can be taken off-road due to its powerful motors and a special feature which a Super 73 doesn't even have. Let's get straight into the video. So this is the Engine Pro electric bike by Engwe and I've been testing this out now for quite a few months. And you may have noticed that this is featured in quite a few of my videos and today I want to go through some of my top reasons why I like this bike just so much. And firstly, the main draw about this bike is the incredible power. Now this version has a thousand watt motor, which just means that this bike is an absolute powerhouse and there are a lot of benefits that that brings. If we compare that to say a Super 73 ZX, which costs a lot more, the motor on that bike is 250 watts, so a significant difference. So what does this actually bring? Well, this means that you're going to have a lot of power when you need it. It has eight speeds and five power assist modes. On the other side of the frame, this is where you're going to get the control panel. You also have a throttle and then your electric horn as well. So the throttle is going to give you five different speeds. Now you can just use throttle only if your country allows it, but then you've got five different levels of speed to use. So that's number one. And then I'll just switch it now to number five. And you can just see that difference and you get it on this on-screen display here as well and on the display this is where you're going to be able to see which mode you're in you can also click the information arrow this will give you your max speed your average speed your trip distance and then your overall battery life as well. So what does this mean having a thousand watts of power? Now it doesn't mean that you're going to be going super fast all the time. You can control it, but it means you've got the power when you need it to maybe get up a steep hill or to go over rough terrain. Now this is a breeze on roads in level one or two, just cruising along. But the beauty of this bike is that it can handle anything. And I have really pushed it over the last few months to find out what the limits are. So tarmac is no problem, but if you were to go off road, it's got the power so I can go over rough gravel and then onto wet sand with no problems whatsoever and this is a massive advantage to be able to take this bike on all different terrains and it can handle it all it's what I really do like about it but it also has that speed there when you want it to and the pickup speed and the torque is just incredible so just look at here now from a slow start and just see just how fast it gets mental And this is due to the next good feature, which is the tires. It comes with thick, chunky, all-terrain tires, and it also has alloy and hydraulic dual suspension system. So when you are off-road, when you're over gravel or on sand or rough terrain, it's going to still be a comfortable ride. <laughs> So you can see I have not gone easy on this bike, but it actually has withstood this punishment and it is still going strong. It's remarkable really. And there are a few more good features to come as well. So the first one, let's just turn this off now. I'm going to show you. So the actual front frame, this folds down here and underneath the actual main frame, this is where it's going to have a dedicated key. So you use this to turn the battery on and off. You can also use this to remove the battery as well. And the good thing about this battery is that it's actually inside the frame and it's fully waterproof. So you don't have to worry about getting your bike wet. And the next great feature is that this now opens up and then the whole bike folds down, which is a massive advantage. I can't tell you just how many times I have been able to go on trips and take this bike with me, albeit when it's not covered in sand, and just put this bike in the back of my car. It's just so much better. And most folding bikes are either really underpowered or really just 
not very good whereas this one has loads of decent features but still in just two parts you can fold this down so in the latest tricks i can fold this put it into the back of my car and then take this bike with me on some really cool tracks without having some massive bike rack on the back of my car and when you get big bikes like this and the super 73s you're going to need some huge bike rack on the back of your car to be able to withstand that weight so being able to fully fold down is a massive feature Talking to Super 73, none of their bikes currently fall down at all. So it'd mean if I was to pick up one of those, I wouldn't be able to take it with me. Whereas this, I can actually fold it and then take it to these locations. It also has a capacity of 330 pounds. Now you see this seat on the back. I just picked this up off Amazon. It's about 20 pounds and then I can put it on there. But you can also strap things to here or carry things, but you can also put a second rider on here. I found it is more than strong enough to be able to carry two people. It's got a light on the front and also on the back, there's another light and that is also a brake light as well. When you brake, that lights up, so it's really good. And then you see here now, the battery life. This is the next huge feature. The actual battery and the range of this bike is outstanding. So it is 120 kilometers per charge or 60 kilometers in sports mode five. Now after the test on the beach, it was still at 100%. Looking at the battery range on the Super 73, it doesn't compare their 3000 euro model, only has a range of 40 to 80 kilometers. And if we drop down to their ZG model, which is around about the same price, similar price, that only has a range of 20 to 32 kilometers. In fact, for the Super 73 models to get a similar range, you have to spend 4,000 euros for the S2 model to get a 64 to 100 kilometer range. So the actual battery life on here is absolutely bananas. Overall, I have really enjoyed using this bike. I think it brings excellent value. For sure, it doesn't look as cool as a Super 73, but it brings a ton of advantages. And the final one is the price. If we look at the price of this bike, this is £1,299, which comparing it to those three Super 73 bikes, I think this brings fantastic value with all the additional features. And then if you want to go and check this out, I will also put a link in the description which will get you even more money off that price. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I've had a ton of fun testing this bike out the last few months and I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more this summer. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this bike. Let me know if you go and pick it up and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.